Hello everyone, welcome to Dimitri's Gallery. Please meet my latest sculpture, Orcus. Today I'm very excited to share with you a little piece of myself by showing you what I do as an artist and what makes my art distinct and unique. I'd like to start out by saying that because of how different my art is, I actually had to come up with my own tools and techniques to be able to bring my ideas to life and basically learn everything that I do from scratch. I also decided that I will do my best to get my inspiration from things like nature and emotions rather than getting ideas from other artists. That way I can stay true to my own voice and express myself in a unique way. And because I was able to stay true to that decision, I can honestly say that there is no other artist in the world today that does what I do, and I'm very excited to share that with you. Anyway, let's get back to Orcus. I'll try to walk you through some of the steps it took to build it. We'll get into some wood turning, glass blowing on a torch, and working with my CNC machine to create some of the pieces that made the flower itself. If you like what you see, please share it with your friends, and don't forget to visit my website to see the rest of my art. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy some of my newest songs. You can find them in the description. Let's start with the wooden base. I usually start out with the flower design first, but this seems like a good place to start in the video, and we'll get to the flower later. It's made from several pieces of wood that are glued together in such a way that the different types of wood and their grain will show up intertwined together in the final piece. I painted the edges black because I knew that some of it would remain in the final base. Here I'm finishing up the bottom of the base. I'm going to leave a little bit of material in the center so that I can easily attach it to a faceplate. That way I can turn it with just one side being supported later. the basic shape done. I'm gonna go over the whole thing with a scraper tool to make a nice and smooth surface. If you know anything about wood turning then you probably can tell that I'm totally using the scraper wrong but it seems to do just fine for this project. And now for the fun part. I'm going to use a basic propane torch and lightly burn the surface of the wood to bring out some of the awesome grain.
And there you go, the base is now complete. I used some stain and a few coats of clear coat to finish it off. Let's move on to the flower. It has three parts that are made from acrylic sheet that I cut on my CNC machine. Each one is slightly smaller than the last. This is where my art really came from. About 10 years ago I built my first CNC machine and since then I have designed and built several of them to be able to cut pieces like these uh, as the main details for most of my works. Really each sculpture comes from a sketch I draw in CAD just like this one. I have to picture how the machine will make the cuts as I design the part as well as what shape I will bend it into and how multiple pieces will connect together. It definitely took a few years of trial and error to be able to actually understand what I'm doing but it kind of works today. I want to have nice edges on these pieces, so what I'm doing right now is creating a toolpath for all the features that will add a nice chamfer so there are no sharp edges. I don't want to bore you with all this technical stuff, so I skipped some of the steps. But here's the final design with all the cutting paths displayed. I'll run it through a 3D simulation so that you can see how the machine will make the cuts and then we'll hop on the machine and then make the cuts for real. This is my latest CNC machine. It's dedicated to my three grandparents for all the wisdom and knowledge they shared with me when I was a kid. It's still a work in progress, but it's doing the job for now. I'll be using a jet of air and spraying cutting oil on the tool to keep things cool. I'm switching over to the tool to cut that nice chamfer on all the sharp edges. By the way, I totally accidentally cut into my clamping table on accident.
Finally, I'm cutting the outside. Alright, this one is done, now I've got to do two more. All that's left is adding the colorful inlays to the three flowers. I created the design in Photoshop and then used a toner transfer technique to insert it into the pockets. By the way, in case you're wondering what it is, I started out with a peacock feather. Alright, now for some real fun. We'll make some glass accent pieces for the ends of the stems. They will have LED lights inside, so I want to make them break apart and add color to the light. Welcome to my glass studio and meet my torch. It's another one of the tools that I designed and built from scratch to add another dimension to my art. I've been meaning to get into glass for a while now and made the leap a couple of years ago, but did not have enough money to get all the tools I needed. I did a lot of research online and came to the conclusion that although complicated, I could make the torch myself. I could save a good 500 bucks, so it was worth the effort. It took me a couple of tries, but in the end I succeeded, and now I use it for every one of my sculptures. By the way, I use my trusty CNC machine to machine the parts for it. I'm adding some reactive colors that start out black, but depending on what type of flame I use and how I work them will change to shiny blues and greens. I will add several layers starting with blue, then reactive, and then clear to get all the colors to morph into one another, and the clear really brings the reactive color to life.
I have attached a colored rod to the end of the accent piece so that I can give it its final shape and separate it from the glass tube. It's another reactive color so the tips will be amber and will have all sorts of colorful swirls. The last part that needs to be made is the light fixture that holds the LED ring which lights up the whole flower. It's a quick turning job out of some walnut wood. I put the pieces together off camera and ran the wires to all the lights and soldered everything together. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to visit my website to see the rest of my art.